When I first got the job, I had so many people say, as long as you beat Sonora, we don't care what happens. You know, one in nine, we don't care as long as that one is against Sonora. The I-10 rivalry is a game Sonora and Nozona communities look forward to each year. These two teams come into this game with a lot of history, having met for the first time on the gridiron back in 1920. And the athletes know how big this game is to all parties involved. More than a rivalry, it's kind of like, I, I would say like a tradition. We, we play them every year. Sometimes we win, most, sometimes they win, but I think it's going to be a great game this year. We're, we're going to do really well. The Ozona Lions started off the season 0-3, but have found their rhythm the last few weeks, having beat an undefeated Miles Bulldog team in week five going into their bye week. You know, district coming up, we just, we needed that momentum. That was huge for our season. And the Sonora Broncos, who are 4-1, and one, are also coming off a win over Harper, entering their bye week. Going into week seven of high school football, Coach Weston knows what his team needs to do to come out successful. If we can control the ball, then, then good things should happen for the Broncos and, and get takeaways from them as well, which we've done very well on the defensive side. So just play Bronco football. The athletes are friends outside of football, but once they hit the field on Friday, these two teams will be on a mission. Uh, it's pretty important. We have like a love-hate relationship. You know, we're friends outside of the uh, outside of everything. But when we get on that field, they're our enemies. You know, biggest rivalry of the season.